guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reading the sixth story from the five minute Christmas stories. And this one is called Christmas Traditions. Alright, and this one is Lady and the Tramp theme. Alright, Christmas Traditions. Lady was excited. It was almost time for Christmas. I can't wait to teach the puppies all about our Christmas traditions, she told Tramp one evening. Teach them, Tramp asked. What is there to teach? Doesn't Christmas just show up one morning? Well, yes, Lady admitted. But Christmas is about more than just one day a year. It's about all the things we do together, as a family. This was Lady's first Christmas with the puppies, and with Tramp. Just wait until you see the tree all lit up, she told him. It's magical, and then we hang our stockings by the fire. Tramp looks confused. Why would you hang up stockings? He asked Lady. For Santa Claus to fill with presents, of course, Lady replied. Just then, the two heard a voice with a thick Scottish accent. Aye, lad, old St. Nick will fill your stockings with toys and bones and fancy collars, said their friend Jock, who had joined them. My favorite part of the season is the caroling, Trusty added, joining the group. Miss Lady is a mighty fine singer, and I've been known to howl along pretty well myself. I like the light, Jock said. It's like having a wee bit of the night sky inside your home. Lady smiled. My favorite part is Christmas dinner. We all sit together and eat the most wonderful meal of the year. It sounds like quite the celebration, Pidge, Tramp said. What's your favorite tradition, lad? Jock asked. I never really celebrated Christmas, Tramp told them. On the streets, it was just another day, although the scraps were much better than normal. Well, all that has changed now, Lady said. I just know you'll love our holiday traditions, and the puppies will too. It really is the most wonderful time of the year. What's the most wonderful time of the year, Mama? Scamp asked, bounding over to his parents. His siblings, Fluffy, Ruffy, and Scooter, ran after him. Mama, Mama, they called. Jim Deere is bringing a tree inside. What's he doing that for? Christmas, my darlings, Lady answered with a smile. Lady was right. Christmas was magical. The whole house sparkled and shone with decorations and light. The puppies had a great time hanging ornaments on the tree, although Tramp had to help them reach the branches. And Darling even let them sample some of her sweet-smelling Christmas cookies. One chilly night, the whole family bundled up and went caroling with Jock and Trusty. Lady did have a lovely voice, though it was hard to hear her over Trusty's howling. On Christmas Eve, Jim, Deer, and Darling took the family ice skating. Fluffy, Ruffy, and Scooter were great skaters, just like their mother, but Tramp and Scamp weren't quite as graceful. They both fell face first on the ice. This certainly isn't going to be my favorite Christmas tradition, Tramp said with a laugh as Lady helped him up. But before bed that night, Lady and Tramp helped the four puppies hang their stockings by the fire. What are these for, Scamp asked his mother. Lady smiled. Just wait and see, she said. The next morning, the pups awoke to find their stockings stopped. Santa Claus had come. He had brought a teddy bear for Fluffy, a brush for Ruffy, a squeaky mouse for Scooter, and a big ball for Scamp. Lady got a shiny new water dish, and Tramp got a new bone to chew. Merry Christmas, everyone, Larry said, looking around at her family happily. Later that evening, Lady was, help was getting the puppies ready when she heard something that made her heart sink. Merry Christmas, Aunt Sarah, Jim Deere said as he opened the door. We're so glad you could come for dinner. Aunt Sarah greeted Jim and gently set him down her Siamese cat, Cy and Anne. The sly animals crept into the room, sniffed at the puppies, and slowly slipped into the dining room. Lady turned to Tramp. We should keep an eye on those two. You never know what crash. Oh no, Lady cried as they rushed into the dining room. The cats had knocked over the dishes and scattered food everywhere. Christmas dinner is ruined, she said sadly. But the cats were not as sneaky as they thought. Darling had seen everything and knew they were the cause of the trouble. Aunt Sarah apologized and locked the cats in their carrier. Then she helped clean up the mess. When all the broken dishes and ruined food were gone, Lady and Tramp looked at the empty dining room. I'm sorry about dinner, Pidge, Tramp said. It's my favorite holiday tradition and now I don't get to share it with you, Lady said sadly. I was really looking forward to it. Suddenly, Tramp had an idea. Come on, he said. Let's get Jim Deere, darling. Aunt Sarah and the kids. I just realized. I do have my own Christmas traditions to share with you after all. Tramp led the whole family downtown. Tony's! Hey, Butch! Tony cried when he saw them walk in. Welcome to Christmas dinner. We were wondering if we would see you this year and with such a beautiful family. Come on in. 
This is perfect, Lady told Tramp as they all sat down to a delicious Italian Christmas dinner. Merry Christmas, Tramp said. May all of our traditions continue for many years. Except maybe the ice skating. Alright, thank you for watching guys. Tune in tomorrow, I'll have the seventh night. And we're just going to go straight through to Christmas Eve. Alright, see you later guys. Bye.